Coming up next, a dog named Chance, who is sure to steal your heart away with his touching journey to a new home. Many animal shelters across the U.S. are struggling with finances and providing room for all the animals that need their help. But at the Humane Society of York County Shelter, I saw something different. They are a family and are willing to do anything to help these animals find a forever home. I'm Renee Thomas with Carolina Connection and I want to tell you this great story. The Humane Society of York County Shelter is run by volunteers and a small staff who have a passion for every animal that walks through the doors. It is a no-kill shelter that gets no government funding. We seen double the intake of animals and that being that people uh, had three or four animals in one house, all of a su sudden somebody would lose their job. They wanted to give up one of those animals. They could no longer afford them. The shelter relies entirely on donations, so when the recession hit in 2008, they were greatly affected. The one thing that people don't know about this shelter and our new premises here, it costs us $30,000 a month to run it. With the financial burden mounding, a unique idea was born, a thrift shop called Paul's Abilities. The thrift store first opened, um, it was a concept from two volunteers um, to make more money for the puppies and kitties. Paul's Abilities welcomes gently used items and shoppers, of course. You can find anything from jewelry to household items to toys or even antiques. Because of Paul's Abilities, the shelter was able to raise enough money to get a bigger shelter in Fort Mill. The furry little creatures have been calling this their home since September of 2011. The challenges are always ongoing, but the rewards are definitely worth it. One story that still touches everyone's heart is the story of Chance. He was all bones, he was covered in bug bites, and just, he was brought to us just in the nick of time. After he had been with us for, I think he was maybe here for six months, and um, a couple came in, they had a four-year-old little girl. By then, Chance was big boy. He had grown a lot. He was getting, he was getting his full shape and everything. The four-year-old little girl is what convinced me that that was the good home because he was so good with her. So, and he's still doing good with them. And there are dozens of chances looking for their forever home. Whether you are looking for a puppy, a kitten, or maybe a wiser companion, the Humane Society of York County has many to choose from. We visited one Saturday afternoon and saw Taylor find her forever home. I kind of wanted either a boxer or I was going to go maybe Boston Terrier for a small dog and that, that's what ended up being the mix of this dog. Um, it's a boxer Boston Terrier mix process. I just saw the dog on, online, um, came up here and um, they were really nice. They, they, you could tell they cared about their dogs. and they made sure that I was gonna be a good fit for them too, so. Every animal deserves a loving home, and the Humane Society of York County makes sure that happens. I'm Renee Thomas, reporting for Carolina Connection.